Heart attacks can strike almost anyone, even those apparently fit and active. In such circumstances, it's a great comfort to know that nowadays, modern techniques can save lives and give greater hope of full recovery to those laid low by heart disease. Diseases of the heart and blood vessels kill more New Zealanders than all other diseases combined. They account for nearly 53% of all deaths, including one third of those under 65. There are many types of heart disease, and medical science is devising methods to deal with the problems raised. Heart disease is not confined to the middle-aged or elderly, and congenital heart abnormalities are present in eight of every thousand babies born, or nearly one percent. This baby, one week old, is being investigated by cardiac catheterization. Some forms of heart disease are amenable to surgical treatment, and major advances have been made in this field in New Zealand. We are still ignorant of the cause of many forms of heart disease, and continuing research is needed to aid both in future prevention and more effective treatment. Most patients with heart disease, including the major problem of coronary disease, can engage in an active and useful life but they will need re-education, reassurance, and in some cases, active rehabilitation. Now that you're ready to go home following your heart attack, I want you to follow the advice I've given you regarding exercise, which you should continue regularly, and also to persevere with your diet so that you don't put on the weight that you've lost while in hospital. And when I see you again in six weeks, you should be just about ready to go back to work. Our health services provide many of the resources for the active treatment of heart disease, but the longer term requirements to do the job need strong public support through the National Heart Foundation's appeal on the 18th of October.